The last time Toyota introduced us to an all new Sequoia, it was 2007, and I didn't have this job. In fact, I was being taken to middle school in the back seat of that very car. 15 years later, well, I look like this, but the Sequoia, on the other hand, has gone through a lot of changes, and I'm about to tell you all of them right now. Before we get too far along, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Moto One YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also find us and interact with us on social media using the handle at MotoOne.com. 15 years is a long time to wait, and that means we expect a lot from this new SUV. And luckily, with first impressions here, Toyota seemed to do a good job to bring this thing up to modern standards. The new 2023 Sequoia is hybrid only. That's right, you can only get it with a hybrid setup, but thankfully it's a good powertrain that we know from the Tundra. It's called the iForce Max. It's a 437 horsepower engine, twin turbo, 3.5 liter V6, again, with a hybrid setup there. Fuel economy figures unknown yet, but Toyota promises that it's much better than the second gen Sequoia, which has been on sale for a long time now. But that car sets a really low bar, so we should expect better fuel economy from this thing. Second thing here is it comes in multiple trim levels, more than before. We have the TRD Pro behind me. There's a brand new capstone trim. That's the full range topping model. It's packed with leather, wood trim on the inside, and then all sorts of chrome bits on the outside. And finally, this has a completely revamped interior to match the new Tundra. Let's take a closer look now. First thing I wanna point out on the side profile, look at this really cool detailing uh, on the fender flare here. It almost looks like camo from far away, but when the light hits it just right, it's a neat little detail. 18 inch wheels, a nice matte black finish with a bright red TRD badge in the middle. And because this has the same suspension setup as the TRD Pro Tundra, we know that it has an independent front end and coil springs at the rear. Again, this is the most versatile, best off-road kit that Toyota offers uh, with their big products, Tundra and Sequoia. I did speak to one of the engineers, and the difference is the Tundra is gonna have a slightly increased ride height as to where the Sequoia TRD Pro is gonna be the same ride height as the rest of them. So this is not gonna ride any taller than a Capstone, for example. They did that because the SUV just has different priorities for the truck. Continuing onward, I love this strong belt line that just sort of folds off. And then things go a bit normal here. Uh, your eye immediately gets drawn to this huge powder-coated sidestep, which looks really neat and tough. And then the body line picks right back up at the rear. A cool mix of design details on the side profile. I love that it just looks tough. You know, a TRD Pro really looks tougher than it is for the most part, but that's what a lot of people are attracted to, especially in this segment. Looking at the back of the new Sequoia, it's the only angle on the whole car that I just don't know about how it looks. The reason is, when you focus in on the taillight specifically, kind of looks like a Sienna. I'm getting a little bit of Highlander, a little bit of Sienna. It loses the toughness that the face of the car portrays so well. The other thing, the word mark is across the bottom. I know they have to put the Toyota badge up here, but I feel like if you put the word in the middle of the car, right around the belt line, it would draw your eye to the parts of it that you want to see, not all the way down at the bottom. I want to show you the cargo area specifically because Toyota has a new solution, which I just think is super creative. In this trim, these are power folding. So there's two buttons over here. The car doesn't have power to it right now, but you hit one of these, they fold down automatically. But in addition to that, they also slide forward and backwards. So if you come over here, you can actually see the difference in the seat. So if you have a ton of groceries or luggage that you need to throw in the back, you can push these all the way forward and get the maximum cargo space. Or if you have third row passengers that you need to be a little bit more comfortable, you just slide these back and then they have the most amount of legroom possible in addition to the seats being power one touch folding. I just think it's super creative and I had to point it out. Backseat of the Sequoia obviously has to be super family friendly and just like the generations before this one, it seems to nail it so far. A good amount of legroom, I can tell immediately. The, the passenger seat in front of me is actually pretty decently far forward. Good amount of legroom. The headroom could get tricky. I'm not that tall, I'm under six feet, so any taller passenger might have a little bit of problem here. Um, but overall, a good amount of space. Two huge cup holders right here, additional storage in the door pocket that's gonna be great for families, obviously. Household outlet, then two USB outlets, in addition to rear seat climate control, and a few other creature comforts. The second row does not slide forward or aft, but it does recline backward or forward 
to give your rear seat passengers a little bit more room if you need it. Inside the Sequoia, the Tundra similarities don't end. They actually continue and in the best way possible. Front and center is an absolutely massive 14 inch touchscreen. It's Toyota's ground up new infotainment and we've loved it with the products we've experienced so far. You'll also find this in the Lexus NX. It's just reskinned a bit differently for that car. I've interacted with it for weeks at a time. It's great. Standard wireless Apple CarPlay, standard wireless Android Auto. Uh, it has Amazon Music integration and just really intuitive layout. This tech suite is going to be a huge selling point for this very competitive segment. So if you're cross shopping this with a Tahoe, uh, Ford Expedition, you're really going to want to consider the Sequoia simply because of this system. I'm absolutely in love with it. The rest of the TRD Pro here is fitted out nice. The car doesn't have power to it right now, but there's a fully digital cluster in front of me. We have a TRD logo at the bottom of the steering wheel, then the red hash mark at the top of it. The same red contrast stitching is on the center shifter, which is big and chunky, just like it is in the Tundra. And then we have a very truck-like center console. There's room for more stuff here than you even know what to do with. We have a sliding area where you can drop your phone here. Wireless charging, huge cup holders in the center console, and a bunch of creature comforts up here. Heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, et cetera, et cetera. This is a very loaded car in TRD Pro form. Final thing, just like it is on the grill, a huge Toyota word mark across right in front of the passenger. Neat little touch. The 2023 Toyota Sequoia goes on sale summer of this year. and We don't have any pricing information yet. We don't know the EPA numbers either on that hybrid engine, but we do know that we'll be driving it later on this year. And in the meantime, you can get all the details over at motor1.com. Thanks for watching.